Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are rejoining our Donegal test capsule. It is about an hour away from its perigee of 72 kilometers. I had to make some small adjustments, uh, but we still do have some battery because I went to the flight uh, center and just kind of let this run, which means it doesn't drain electric charge. I know it's a little kitschy, but it's probably, I mean, it's what I do with most of my missions anyway, but we're going to go ahead and time warp a bit, get ourselves a little closer to the atmosphere, uh, enjoy some of this prettiness. All right, and we should be pointing, oh, okay, yeah, I forgot to do any of that stuff. All right, we need to decouple the service module, decouple the service module and hope that it gets clear because we are well we're coming in oh we should retract these panels too huh uh, retract how much battery we have left oh plenty plenty good news all right uh, our parachutes are armed um we're gonna try this test no we're gonna fire up the radiators because we they might be our saving grace they might not be, there could just be absolutely nothing we can do to bring this in. But our approach speed is 11 kilometers per second. This is uh, about as close as I can get to simulating an interstellar intercept. Oh yes, there, there's the fireworks we are all hoping for. Nice. That screen shake just really kind of gets me. But the good news is we haven't overheated and exploded yet. Yeah, I just set this node to know where our retrograde vector was. Obviously, we're not going to be making any actual burns to this effect. But, I, uh, you know, here's hoping. So, we're just going to kind of take a step back, take our fingers off the controls, and watch this thing happen, and hope for the best. Because this is a culmination <laughs> of the best technologies we have for uh, moving more than one Kerbal around. And really, I can't imagine being wedged in that little thing for upwards of a couple of years is going to be very comfortable at all. But we're getting good re-entry effects. Our Apogee is falling pretty rapidly. We can go ahead and get rid of that node. We don't really need it. And so far, so good. Nothing is overheating and exploding. This is looking like it might be successful, which is really, really awesome. Alright, so far so good. Ablator is ablating. Uh, still at around 10 kilometers per second, but we're not getting any heat warnings. Like I said, we're probably just going to ride this out. There's really not a whole lot we can do. Oh wait, we're climbing. Looks like we're taking another lap, ladies and gentlemen. Our apogee is still only down to about 60 million meters. So, uh, looks like we might get a chance to see what this is like with dead batteries after all. Great. 1.51 negative charge rate. Alright, let's kill these radiators. Shut down. Nope. Shut down. Well, did not see that coming. I guess uh, 72 some odd kilometers uh, perigee was not quite aggressive enough. Well, does that really ruin our test? Does that negate it? Should we have... I'm not entirely sure. We're back up to 93, so let's get these panels back out and adjust our angle. We need to mitigate as much of this battery draw as we can. Where's the sun? Ah, well, that's pretty convenient. Alright, well then. Uh, I guess we have to wait to get out of the atmosphere to time warp, but we'll just go ahead and speed this up just a bit. And watch the oceans turn back to blue. Ah. Uh, I 
really wish I knew how to make them not disappear when we were inside the atmosphere. That's just really, really annoying. All right, will we have battery when we get back? Hmm. Uh, it's not looking very good. Not looking very good at all. And... Oh! Crap. This should be interesting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Batteries are about to die and we gotta pull these panels back in. Yeah, we've got uh, about 50 more seconds of battery. Still moving at around 10 kilometers per second. Shoots are armed, so if we do actually re-enter this pass, I guess we'll know if shoots can deploy when batteries are dead. 30 seconds of battery. I feel like we didn't get our full deceleration. We were already in the atmosphere when I came out of time warp, which just seems a little not fair. Like, maybe this pass would have brought us back, but we're not going to know. Because we didn't accelerate as much as we should have. Yeah, we're climbing again. Yeah. And battery's gone. We have lost connection with the uh, test capsule. Great. Oh, well. I have no idea what happened. There was a sudden rotation and then an explosion. I was in physics warp and did not expect anything bad to happen because we were on our way out. We were climbing and heading out of the atmosphere. Well, I guess we are very forced to call this test inconclusive. Sad as it may be. Crap. So I guess we're going to have to wait to research some better capsules and some uh, better habitation equipment before we uh, start thinking interplanetary. But hey, it's good to know. We didn't kill anybody. And that's a good thing. Right? Okay. Anyway, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it. I will see all of you tomorrow. Until then, see you later.